how to upload digital products on etsy hi guys oh, welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to upload digital products to sell on etsy so let's get started first what you have to do is you guys will simply go to etsy.com and you will land on this platform right here etsy is a global online marketplace where people come together to make sell buy and collect unique items you can create any kind of item on etsy and list it to sell to make money online so today i'll show you how to upload a digital product on etsy digital products do pretty well on etsy digital product actually means a product which is created digitally for example planners templates and different photo editing templates you can also create cards digitally and wall art so these are the digital products that we can create and sell on etsy in order to sell the product you will simply open up your store and you can see it will ask you to get started you require to set up your shop on etsy in order to sell products so you can see all of these steps are here and if you do not have a store then you can just create one really quickly so you just enter the details right here name your shop and we can create a listing so this is where i will show you how to upload a digital product because we don't sell that product and we don't ship that product so how to actually upload it so let's get started with the process first of all you have to add an image of the product that you have so i'm gonna add image right here Today I am creating a wall art and you can see this is my art right here and this is the image. So we can add more than one image as well. Uh, if it's a physical product then we add like more than one image such as like every angle, details, in use, size and scale and you can like add different variations as well. So I have like a simple digital art so we're not going to add any angles for the digital products. Moving on we have a video. So if you have a video for the product that you have created if it's a physical product or a digital product you can add the video right here uh, make sure the video should be a higher quality video and it should not be cropped and the maximum file size can be 100 mb so you can add the video right here it's optional for now i'm not gonna do that and the video duration can be 5 to 15 seconds moving on we have listing details so this is where we will be working title so the title for my wall art is is printable so let's say that this is the title for my art that i have created now about this listing who made it i did uh, what is it it's a finished product uh, when did you make it i made it recently so i'm just gonna like made to order let's say and then we have category so we can add any kind of category for our product so my category is going to be wall art you can see we have a category wall in digital prints so i'm gonna select this one moving on we can add more subcategories such as art and collectibles prints digital prints home and living home decor so i'm gonna go with digital prints from here and it will be added so now we have the primary color uh, what color you have as a primary color of your product so we can add like any optional color so for me i'm not gonna choose a color for this one because it's like a multi-color you can see but maybe we can go with yellow or maybe for secondary color we can go with yellow or you can leave it as well then we have the width so i'm gonna add the width of course which is going to be four all right so this is my height in centimeters uh, my wall art height then we have orientation framing so if it's framed you can say it's framed it's not orientation it's vertical home style so it is going to be a art then we have uh, occasion so if it's an occasion product for example like a first birthday one because on etsy what happens is we create a lot of print on demand as well and occasional products so you can select one from here but this is not a, a product like that then we have a room like where you should add it um so i'm gonna add a dorm room or maybe a kids room as well then you can also add it in your living room and other and office as well okay perfect so these are the different rooms that you can actually add it to i have not added like a kitchen or a bathroom because my art is not for that place but it depends on you where you want to set it 
Then we have the subject. So the subject is going to be abstract and geometrical. These are all the details related to the product that you have. Then we have renewable. Now this is important. These two options. Renewable option. So if it's going to be, if you go with automatic, you will just give at C0.20 USD and they will automatically renew it whenever it is out of stock or you can do it manually and you will update and renew the listing yourself so i'm going to do a manual and this is the option that is the most important option when it comes to uploading a digital product the type of the product if it's a physical or a digital product so this is what makes the difference just select digital product because this is a digital file that buyer will download not buy it or it will not be shipped to them it will be downloaded so this is what happens you just have to select digital not physical then we have the description so you will just enter a description for your art that's what i'm gonna do so I have added the description. You will, of course, add more and more description for your product. Then we have production partners. So I am not partnered with anyone. Then we have, again, a section, which is optional. So I'm not going to select that. And then we have tags. So if you add tags, that actually helps you with the ranking of your product. So you can just go with quick tags such as wall art. And then we can say print. Okay, so I have added some tags right here. You can add up to 15 tags. Then we have price, quantity, and SKU. So the price for my product, my digital product that people will be downloading is going to be $24. Quantity, you can select the quantity for your you know, listing and you will be charged 0.20 USD listing fee each time. So for now, I'm just going to go with one. And then we have personalization. So if you have any personalization that you want to add, you can do that. So we have, uh, you know, you can see you have selected made to order above. You'll create the files after purchase. So now it depends on you. You can see the option I selected here. So let's actually go with this. Okay, so then we have the last option, which is digital file. And this is where you will upload the file, add up to five or more files. So just click on upload and select the file from your computer. And there you go. The file will be uploaded. You can see this is my file. This is the size and I can add like five files right here. Now, this is what I am selling on Etsy. And this is my product right here, which is a digital product. So this is how you upload a digital product on Etsy. It's really easy to do. Once you have added all the details, you will click on save and continue and you will be driven to your next option and your listing will be completed. And this is how you can also go ahead and list your digital product on Etsy. You can see this is my product, which is a wall art, and it is a digital product that will be downloaded. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.